Hello everyone, I'm back with the first review video on Kindle Paperwhite 5, the 11th generation that was released in late 2021. I've used it for about 3 months now so it hasn't been a long time but I've put together my thoughts on the device so let's get started. Firstly, let's get started with a huge pro. The Kindle device can connect to a Bluetooth speaker. I never knew about this feature until I did a little bit of research and it's a complete game changer because I didn't know this could be possible with a Kindle. This feature can be accessed via settings, accessibility, voice view screen reader. Once a Bluetooth speaker is connected, there will be instructions by your bot lady. It took me far too long to figure out that I had to double tap on an icon I want to select, but I got there in the end. ...from Ariel's beak and slid it open. Neville stuffed his fingers in his ears. A split second later, Harry knew why. He thought... To be honest, I don't use this feature that often because I personally don't enjoy listening to a robot all the time, but I find this extremely helpful when I want to read but I'm occupied with something else. For example, you can see in this video I had the speaker anywhere in the kitchen while cooking at the same time, and I could still listen to my book. While I was eating, I had a Kindle in front of me while I had it connected to the speaker so I can both read and listen at the same time. This has really improved with my reading speed as well. If the speaker is too far away from the device, it will automatically discontinue the connection and the message will be shown. I believe a shortcut is to press the home button three times to search for any nearby Bluetooth devices. Next, I want to talk about storage. I purchased the 8GB Kindle and this is more than enough space for me. I can have 455 times these 5 books for my Kindle to be full. It obviously depends on the file size and the page count of the book. If you're into comic books, you'll want to consider a larger storage space. It was a lovely sunny day outside this day, so I decided to read my Kindle in my backyard, which felt like a nice picnic. <laughs> Kindle comes with a matte screen that provides a real paper book reading experience. I love this feature because when I'm reading in the sun or in a bright room, it doesn't reflect the light back to my eyes. Here you can see how I'm able to change backlight of the screen. It makes no difference here, but if I'm reading my book in bed, it's another huge game changer. When I used to read physical books or hard copy books at night, I'd have a little light that clips onto the page, or I'd have to put my phone flash on to read the book, which was very inconvenient and uncomfortable at times. With the brightness feature, you are able to adjust the strength of the light so you can read basically anywhere. It also has a warm light option, which is another huge bonus for me because I have a very dry eyes and often staring at a screen for so long tire my eyes out. I'm not 100% sure if it's the blue light or me not blinking enough. <laughs> um, but when I use the warm light feature, I can physically feel that my eyes don't get as tired as much. Another cool thing about this Kindle is that you can take screenshots of your book by holding down two opposite sides of the screen. You can view the screenshots connecting the Kindle to a computer using a cable. I still come across many, many vocabularies that I don't know when I'm reading and the built-in dictionary feature is in Kindle was really helpful for me. When you hold down a word, a definition pop-up will appear and there is also a Wikipedia option for further explanation and a translation option. While I'm here, I can also highlight a word or a sentence I want to remember. And this can be viewed in the Kindle device itself as well as when it's connected to a computer. 
I decided to get the Kindle device mainly because there are no other distractions on the device. I'm usually very bad with distractions, so when I'm attempted to read on my phone or on my laptop, I would often find myself watching a random YouTube video or scrolling through Instagram not long after. Okay, so this is all I have for the Kindle review. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you an insight about what a Kindle can do.